So uh, this is Two Point County. This is the uh, video we showed at the PC Gamer Weekend. Uh, it's been put together by Gary, and we're going to talk about it. It's me and Ben here. Hello. So this is a uh, tiny little corner of Two Point County. This is the very first hospital that you'll build up in your organisation, the little village of Hogsport. So into the first level. Now we've kind of uh, messed things up a bit here. This is one of the early levels of the game, and um, but with more stuff unlocked than yeah. you, you know usually have. Yeah, a lot of stuff you're going to need to uh, get further into the game. You're going to need to research, and mm. you may unlock things with um, in different with, ways. Yeah, in different ways, yeah. yeah. Completing objectives and things like that. So Gary's just putting together uh, the very basics of of a hospital. Perception, reception. an assistant. Yeah, the assistants mm. have quite a few different jobs, actually. Not yeah. just receptionists. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. There's a few, few different things uh, that they can contribute to around the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some very, very cool things as well. And, and so. they, they'll have needs like other staff mm. as well. They'll, they'll have to go on breaks. They'll, you need to keep them happy. Yeah. So the, the old game that we made many years ago, Theme Hospital. I mean, I think the receptionist was just a robot that just uh, never had any needs mm. and size. And we kind of worked really hard on trying to add a lot more personality into into the staff. Should we talk about the room building as it's on the screen? Yeah, yeah you can see uh, the, the room doesn't have to be rectangular. You can build it up out of individual cells and make it whatever shape you want. As long as it's all connected, it's fine. Um, and then you can decorate it with all sorts of different items. Um, you've got essential stuff you have to put in there, but uh, there are a bunch of optional items you can put in there. Yeah, and as the game goes on, there'll be more of those kind of things unlocked. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and by having a more impressive room, uh, you'll be keeping the staff happier Yeah, who are working there. See a snack machine you can put down there. You've got to think about uh, patient needs as well as staff needs. Um, they oh, can get hungry and thirsty. Visualisation here, you're kind of seeing where that was a kind of overlay that we've kind of... Uh, the number of different overlays where if you're trying to put in a radiator down, it kind of shows you where the, the hot spots and the cold spots are mm. and things like hygiene. We've got this kind of overlay system which we... Uh, yeah, it's quite handy for just getting a scent that you can immediately spot if a character's bright mm. red. Okay, there's a problem with that character. Yeah, um, trying to keep the, the player in the game. There's obviously a, a bunch of screens with stats and, and graphs and for the people that want to sort of really drill down into the nitty gritty, but then there's you know, just trying to keep the player in this, this game world as much as possible. Hence the, you know, I guess the blueprinting is kind of the first part of that. You're kind of building and designing in the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we try to, to keep you in the world as much yeah. as possible. Oh, a nice little bit of room movement there. Gary placed the room down and then then shifted its position. You can rotate the rooms as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit of a strange... It, it's it's a bit of an odd shape, yeah. um, but I think people have said that about Gary a few times. <laughs> Not that he's an odd shape, but he makes odd shapes. Yes, yeah, that's what With I With his meant. hands. Uh, indeed. <laughs> So this is a uh, general diagnosis room, a bunch of... Uh... So that's going to be handy. If, if the GP can't figure out what's wrong with the patient, they'll be able to send them there for a bit more investigation. Mm. So the, the flow of the patient through the hospital is try and find out what's wrong with them, diagnose them, uh, maybe have to research uh, their illness, Maybe you search different diagnoses for them and then hopefully, ultimately, treat them or yep. if you can't do that, send them home. You can see a few icons above people here as well and a ghost. Ghost. Um, we didn't put that in. <laughs> no. What's that? That's emergent behaviour, right? <laughs> Someone's died and gone to ghost land. Yeah. Um, so this is a, an operation, a, an operating theatre, one of a doctor getting ready. You see your nurse is still needed there, that icon above the room just yeah. telling you that... There's the nurse, the nurse getting ready. Needed. It's, um, well, there's the operation. Operation having gone pretty badly by the looks of it. I love the it. fact that yeah. the, uh, the guys, or the, the, the patient's always looking at the doctor. Oh yeah. So you see, see, I think they need an anaesthetist, <laughs> don't they? Well, that was, a, that was something that just sort of came out, wasn't it? When 
Tim put in the, the looking at yeah. it. Yeah. And then you're sitting on lying on the operating table. That's a nice uh, <laughs> nice uh, X ray. And this cool. You can talk about the traits actually, Ben. There's, yeah, well, this doctor thinks of himself as being a bit of an entertainer, so uh, he's going to have a little celebration after another successful x ray. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there's a, uh, an MRI machine, and that's, that's much later into the game. Uh, you know, you're going to need to uh, yeah, do unlock a few things, yeah. uh, research a few things before you've got those kind of. A uh, diagnosis. Quite a powerful machine, but... Yeah. Here's the diagnosis machine here. The... Um, fluid analysis. Fluid analysis. So we missed him. He just spat into he the just spat spittoon. just into the spittoon. Um, and now they're going to uh, take a small blood sample. Yeah, the uh, sounds on this are actually very good. Yep. You see the symbol on the door in, indicating oh. all of the different fluids that they might oh. examine? I haven't I noticed that last mm. one. It's nice. The little numbers above their heads there. There's, in fact, a lot of this stuff is still placeholder. We're still going through with the UI and, and stuff, and they've got a little number ticking down, but it's not going to be as uh, crass as that, although I quite like it like that. But, um, Just giving you a sense of yeah, new rooms you might need to build. And um, yeah, how long they, these guys are going to hang around until they yeah. go sort this. So, the, I mean, the more of that you anticipate, uh, the less of those icons you, you'd see yeah. in the world. They're just there to kind of prompt you to do mm. things that you haven't already done. So this is the curse of the mummy, or what was your first new one you said to Possibly us? premature mummification. Um, could be. Could be, you know. Yeah. If you think one of your relatives has died and you <laughs> go through the complex mummification process <laughs> only to realise that they're Actually, just having they're a they're all right, yeah. yeah. So been unwrapped there. Oh, she hasn't been cured though. Now this is a, a, a person with grey anatomy there, just going through the process of colorification. Yes, oh, I uh, guess you could chromatography. Call it that. Chromotherapy. Chromotherapy. Oh. So uh, red, green, and blue dyes applied to them, and their clothes. Of course, somehow their yeah. clothes had grey anatomy as well. Which it is just yeah, bizarre. it's all yeah. yeah. That's a cute. But she's still got grey hair though. <laughs> But you just sometimes, She's just old, sometimes you just can't get rid of that. I like that nurse with the cool beard. Isn't yeah. that pretty cool? Um, so that's I think that's it as we're zooming out. Um, nice little reception area. Beautiful. So that's just an example of uh, a small hospital you can build in the game. And that's it from us. Thanks very much for listening.